back in the building. Where you been? Where you been? Let's start off. Let's start off with where you been because you know last time we spoke, we we spoke about a about a minute ago. But uh, after after three years and and doing the damn thing, what you what you been into? Um, I just been running the. I stopped being over the road and just um running the northeast, dedicated. And now I just run the Texas, basically the um Texas, the whole East Coast now. So from so from Texas to what California or Texas over? No, well, no California is West Coast. My fault. You yeah. said East Coast. So yeah. what from Texas to like Florida, or something like that. Um, sometimes I go to Florida, but they gave me my own little loop. So I run like from Texas to like maybe Pennsylvania and New York back to Texas. Man, so I have my own loop. Man, you 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 can keep up there. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good going up there. I I'll go down. I'll go down to Texas from uh from the Midwest. I'm good with that. No, nah, I you <laughs> know going up into New York and and all that little corner up in that corner of the world you can keep all of that man otr diva man so uh three years with uh steven's transport how how has it been how has it been for you is it three or two it's three right three three years how how has it been for you so far um it's been good i have no complaints with them at all um they have taken good care of me um to the point that i'm in my um my second lease purchase, my first lease purchase, I gave back to them. Uh, but I'm in my new one now. I have a 22 feet belt that I'm buying from them. All so. right. So you, so your, so your second uh, lease uh, with them, you're, you're actually gonna, you're gonna buy it out. Why you? What happened yeah. to? What happened to the first? The, the first one was just to give you a feel of what leasing was about. No, I, um. When I started with them, I was like a company driver for 30 days. Then I went on to contract. I did my lease. Um, um, I did that for like a year and a half, and they offered me a deal on a freight liner because I, I just love freight liners. Um, so they was like, hey, we got freight liners that we got some for sale. You know, you, you want to do a lease purchase? I said, yeah, I want to do a lease purchase. Uh, they offered me a good deal. I couldn't walk away from it. But then I only had the truck for like six months, and basically almost every month the truck was in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I want out of it. And uh, they let me walk away from it. And at the same time, they offered me, you know, uh, a little my, my money back. So so they did, so being that the truck was like a lemon, basically, since yeah. it was in the truck, I mean, since it was in the shop uh, all that time, you, 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 you still felt comfortable uh, with the company that that didn't that yeah. didn't Jake. That didn't jade you in any kind of way, uh, being that no. they get that that they gave you a lemon. No, yeah, I mean it would have probably made me upset if they had told me no, you got to keep it and everything like that. And no, I was like, um, I called my uh, business team. It was like, hey, I I can't make no money with this truck. This truck is constantly in the shop, and I'm just like losing money. So they were like, yeah, let's see what we can do to get you out the truck. And they. My business team did what they had to do with Stevens, and they told me I could I could turn it back in. It's more like a walk away lease, so I walked away from it, gave them their truck back, put me back in the original uh, freight liner that I was leasing. So that's what I did. Okay. Now, since you've been since you've been leasing, uh, you know, you say you was a company driver for thirty days, and you've been with the company for three years. So, uh, say like two years and some change. You you've been leasing. What was the what was the uh what's what's the what's the lease amount uh that you started out with? Did they put you percentage, cent per mile or what? It's cent per mile. So are you able to are you able to well you you right now you're on you're you're on a loop, uh on, on a loop run. Before that, was you able to choose your own loads or you was dispatched to loads? No. <laughs> I'm this. I get. I was dispatched on my loads. Okay. How now? Was you able to choose your loads at one time or no? It, this is all dispatch. no. It's all dispatch. I just don't. Um, I just told him I don't go into the city of New York. Okay. Okay. Now this 
this is all before you went on uh on this loop run that you're on right now correct okay okay so i i uh i saw you uh you know talking to shape world um and you happened to mention that you you do training now when did you start it when did you start training i started training uh july of 19 of this year of 19 2019 oh 2019 okay so out of all the out of all the trainees that you train how many successes out of that um uh, i know about maybe three of them that's still there oh, okay three that, four that's still there that's what's up that's what's up uh what made you get into training why why did you uh what, what made you get into training to me it was more or less uh, it wasn't about the money. It was more or less to give back and to get other people motivated to, uh, especially females, to come out on the road and to see what it is to be out on the road, drive trucks, and just have fun with it. You know, just that's all. Just, just somebody. I mean, for me, it was just like having another person there with me, but at the same time, giving them my knowledge of information to pass on and then show them, you know, what it is to be a truck driver out here. It's not just, you know, yeah, it is consistently of us driving trucks, but we can also have fun out here as well. All right. So what what the OTR D Diva, what 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 time what what type of trainer are you? Like what when a person come on when a person come on your truck, let let them know what would you inspect. What type of trainer are you? I give them a whole lot of rules before they get on my truck. Most of them tell me I'm a mom. I'm I I my mind is mom because I am a mom. Mm -hmm. So more or less, you know, I give them I give them respect and everything like that. Um, I ask for respect as well. I break down my rules. Um, and I won't kick you off my truck not unless you you know do something that I feel like you know I I just can't deal with. Like, I don't deal with my kids yelling at me. So even though my kids are grown, I'm not going to deal with grown women yelling at me either. Right. That'd be, that'd be your issue off my truck ASAP. What's, what was, <laughs> what was, out of all, out of all the trainees, man, what was, was, what was one that, that, that gave you trouble? And what was one that, that, that didn't give you trouble? Um, one that gave me trouble. Um, the only one that gave me trouble is the ones that either just want to do their own thing. They they listen to more or less of what people on the Facebook groups or social media said about trucking and, and the advice that they gave them about when they out with a trainer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that always collided with what how I'm trying to do things. And I'm just like, that needs to stay out there. Right. And here, I'm training. I don't care what the mother folks said. But what goes on a year and how I'm training you is how it's being done. Um, the one I didn't have any issue with, um, and she was more pretty much to go get her. Mm -hmm. She's ready to run, you know, no, no. Anything I said, she took her time. If I said, hey, do it this way, she always asked me questions and she always sat and listened. Until this day, she's actually out there now solo for the first time by herself. Mm -hmm. So she always called me every now and then, you know, and talks to me about things that, you know, she has issues out there and stuff. So I didn't really have no issues with her. All right. So for, you know, and I understand, you know, because a lot of a, a lot of these new cats, they, they if, if they have a problem with their trainer, then the first thing they do, they, they, they run the social media right off the mm -hmm. rip. They run the social media. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. I'm I'm complaining about this. Yo, what's your advice about that? This, that, and the dirt. Yada 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 yada. Bro, you here to 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 learn how to drive this truck. You're not here to be friends with the person. You no. know, you're not here to be friends with the person. They they over here trying to. They 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 know that you know how to drive the truck. That's why you you know that's why you went to school. That's why you spent the five G's. That's why you got your license. But you got to understand what you learned in school is totally different than what's gonna go on out here in the real world. In the real world, 
<laughs> so if I'm sitting here trying to trying to explain to you, you know, keep your head on the swivel, try to stay, trying to maintain your lane, uh, this, that, and the third. If you know, put your phone down. If your phone ring, don't answer it. And you know, you can answer it when we get to a to a stop or whatever, whatever. I'm not just I'm not nitpicking. You right. know? I'm I'm not trying to nitpick with you. And that's and, and that's what you that that's that's what you try not to do. What's the you know, what's what's the what's the variance of of trying to train a female? You know what I'm saying? What what is the variance? Because a lot of females when they come into this industry, the first thing they want to run to is to another female trainer to, you know, to train them because they don't want to train with a male because of, you know, they don't want to get hit on. They don't they they don't want no no issues or nothing like that. What's what's the variance? Be, you know, what's the variance of of training a female? Oh, I would just. When like with me when I train females, the 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 thing is the whole the whole concept of another female training another female is that the females get on there they 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 get nice, but then after a while you know you see a different side of them where they you know they say they're not you know they, you know we don't have the stuff like what what the guys have where you know somebody's going to hit on them or you know they want. They want things done like a nine to five job, but this is not a nine to five job. No, it isn't. You know they want a toilet, and I'm like, baby, there is. You know, sometimes you ain't gonna get no toilet when you had a shipper receiver, with, especially with COVID nineteen a hit. Mm -hmm. Some of them are still not letting us use the restroom, so you're gonna have to be creative, like how the men. You know, the men do what they do when they out there. You know, we have to do what we do, but it's when I'm trying to explain that and train them that you know they have to adapt. It's a lifestyle. It's a it's a career, but it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of them got this concept that they have to have this because they're so used to used to showering every day. They used to being on the toilet every. You know, when they got to go to the bathroom, it's and then the attitude, the mood swings. It you know it clashes when you're training a female. You can't have two queens under one roof. Mm. Trying to it, it it doesn't work. That's what's up. Somebody wants to be dominant with the other one, you know, just instead of just saying, hey, let me just knock out my training and get it over and done with, you know, the it, two queens, it ain't gonna work. And see, that's that, and that's what some of these people fail to understand. You know, you only wolf that person for <laughs> what, two, three weeks, a month at least, you know, <laughs> yeah. get it, get it in, get it in and get it done. You know, like I said before, y'all y'all not there to be friends or anything like that. I mean, casual conversation. You know, the 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 the, the, the three things or the two things, the two pinnacle things are no religion and no politics. We're good on mm -hmm. every. We're good on everything else. No religion, no politics. I don't care who, who I don't care who you pray to, and I I don't care if forty five is your favorite president. You know what I'm saying, right? But you know, but if if you're on here with me, we're we're all about we're all about the training. I'm I'm training you to operate this truck. I'm training you how what the how to act at the shipper and receivers. I'm training you uh how to use the uh, onboard computer, and that's it. You you only here with me for three you know for three weeks or you know or for whatever time that you is. Suck it up. And, you know, and here's the thing, too. Here's here's another thing. Don't say I know. <laughs> don't don't say I know. Say I understand. OK, say mm -hmm. I understand. I, it, you know, like if I say, hey, you know, um, make make sure you stay in between the lines or whatever the case. I understand. Cool. That's it. That just that just make me know that you understand the concept of what you're doing. Right. So OTR Diva, man. Uh you 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 training a guy now? Yes. What's what's the what's the difference between the, what's the diff is this your first guy or or have you this trained is, a guy before? This is my first guy I'm training. Okay. So what's uh, I guess I guess being that this is your first guy, you really can't give a, a, a two definitive differences between the two. But 
so far training a guy how has it been with you so far so far with me has been it's been a lot more pleasant you know i think more or less because when i'm at home and you know i do have home girls i hang with but i don't i have a select few my my female circle is very small but when it comes to the guys i can i can chill like hey i can cut it up with them all day long no problem so for me to train a guy it was more or less when he got in my truck you know, even though my truck is pinked out, you know, it was kind of, you know, comfortable. You okay. know, we done chatted, we done, we done, we done cut up, we done he, laugh, we he done don't, joke. And, he he don't feel no kind of way being in a being in an all female uh, fem, <laughs> feminine truck. <laughs> no, as matter of fact, the other day we was talking. We he we got up and we showered and everything like that, and we was getting ready to leave. And he realized he had on a pink shirt. He said, no, it's not pink. It's coral. And I had to look. And I'm like, oh, you do got a pink shirt on. He said, no, it's coral. It's coral. It's not pink. It's coral. I'm like, uh-huh. But look at that monster drink right there. That's a pink. That's a hot pink can right there. Ain't it? Pink it rubbing off on you, ain't it? <laughs> so, so we just cut up. <laughs> so is it, so what, 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 what are, I mean, what is he? He's a, he's, he's a black guy, white guy. What, what is he? He's a husband. He's a, a black guy, a Hispanic. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So, so what? What made him get into the truck? You know, did y'all conversate about that? Um, we get he got into it because he wants to eventually do hot shot. Oh, you want to do hot shot? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's and up. And he man. used to drive, and he used to drive a FedEx. So he, he didn't drive the big trucks for FedEx. He drove um, a different kind of truck, he said, and he wants to eventually do hot shot. So okay, okay. All right. So Stevens Transport, man, you know, now now they gave you the opportunity to, you know, to do, you know, to do the damn thing. You found success with Stevens uh transport. Uh once you once you buy out your truck, are you gonna continue with Stevens Transport or are you 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 gonna try and break off on your own and and do something else? Your I am going to I am going to continue with them just a little bit longer because they have uh, the the low board with them as well. Mm -hmm. So I want to continue just to learn a little bit more, you know, a little bit more training through them about everything else. And then, but before I even break off from them, I plan on buying at least two more trucks from them because now my son is a truck driver now. So I'm trying to at least bring him on so I can have. Um, trying to get two additional so i have a truck my son i have a truck and then i'm getting a third driver then once all three trucks are paid off i'm taking them all from steve oh, okay so yo so your son uh how's your son and when did he get his license my son is 22 he just got his um this is september august he just got his license oh, okay and so is, is he coming on to stevens to train with his mom or or he's he's with a different company. He's with a different company. Uh -huh. um, we chose we chose a different company, but being the reason that if he came with Stevens, um, if I wanted to hire him as a driver, he would have to be away from Stevens either six months, or I would have to pay for um his student loan through Stevens, pay it, pay his whole balance off, Ooh, and pay what? Stevens some money. So it's whoa, more like whoa, a business. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 wait. If your son came over to Stevens, mm -hmm. you would have to pay his tuition? Yeah, if he wants to drive for me, I would have to pay his balance off. Wow. So to me, it's more of a business. It's a business decision to have him go train somewhere else, have that taken care of him, take care of that with that company, then come see me and be my driver. Okay. 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 Where, where I don't like the middleman. I don't like the middleman. <laughs> so I like to cut him out. You yeah. Know? The, mid, the middleman is kind of making, <laughs> it's kind of making you making them pockets a little bit light. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man. So what about, so where, so where he at right now? I mean, where, where he's driving at now? He's with CRS, um, CRST. Oh my God. Come on now. What? Yeah. Was that your yeah, idea for him to go to CRST? <laughs> Nope, my idea was for him to go to Pine. <laughs> <laughs> but he already got his license, though, right? 
Yes. Oh, okay, so he didn't get his license through CRST. CRST sent him to school. Oh, he so he it. did get mm -hmm. his license through. Oh, okay, yeah. so he he got yeah. you know he got an obligation with him. In other words, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 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 Oh, Tr Diva, thank you very much for coming back on, man. You you're such a such a blessing to uh to talk to, and I you know then you know to follow up what you what you've been doing and all like that. How's uh how's your kids? Um, I believe the last time we spoke, uh, I think uh one of your adoptive kids had 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 issues. How 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 they how are they now? <laughs> Um, my adopted son, uh, he's lovely. He's only six. So he gets to see me um, when I come home and he basically have an Alexa in his in his room and I have one on my truck. So we video chat from the Alexa so oh, okay. that way he knows where I'm at. And I tell him what state I'm in and my mom is here with him. So she shows him on the map where I'm at um, versus, you know, the states because he knows certain states right now. So he goes and look and see where I'm at. Now, if I was, if I'm not mistaken, the last time we talked, wasn't wasn't your significant other was a truck driver too, or no? Yes, yes, he was. Oh, okay. So how 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 is he? He's doing fine. All right, cool, awesome. And he still drives trucks, though, right? No, he he gave up his license many years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. He don't want to go back on the road and drive no more. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. OTR Diva man. So if anybody want to, if if anybody want to come over to Stevens, so you you still so you you still suggest Stevens as a company to come to. Yes, and the only reason why I recommend Stevens is because I feel like their training is the best, and their emphasis, their big emphasis, is on safety. All right. What about what? What about their what? What about the uh, drug tests? Is it, is it urine or 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 uh? Hair follicles. Yeah. It is urine tests. It is a urine test when you get there. But if they believe in your suspect, you doing anything, they will do a hair follicle test. Okay, that's what's up. And it's the trucks. They still got they they still got uh driver cams in their trucks or no? No, there are their cameras on the outside of the trucks. Oh, okay, that's Just what's they said outside. That's what's up. That's what's up. OTR Diva, thank you very much for coming back on and uh doing the follow up. You know, we'll definitely keep in uh contact with each other and uh thank uh and I, I appreciate you. You're welcome, thank you. All right, ma'am, you take it easy. I'll let you later. All right.